Uh, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our second session of the evening, the hairdressing and barbering event. My name is Siobhan McCabe, and I am one of the academic school heads here in the Institute. I am joined this evening for this session by Aoife Ward, our career guidance counsellor, and by my colleagues Katie Meakin and Claire Murphy, who are part of the hairdressing and barbering team in Cavan Institute. I'm also delighted to be joined by two past students, Edel Hennessy, completed a hairdressing course a number of years ago, and Harvey making a, making a barbering course quite recently. And they will talk to us a little later on about their experiences. So the purpose of this evening is again to give you an overview of hairdressing and barbering. Uh, Katie will talk to you about the barbering course and Claire will give you an outline of the hairdressing course. Um, we would like and indeed we'd love for you to get in contact us, with us this evening. There is an opportunity to put in questions on our question and answer section and our moderators will endeavour to answer those. Hopefully at the end of the presentations, we may have the opportunity to go into some live question and, and answers. So please get your questions in there if you need if you need some clarification on something. So I'm now going to pass you over to Katie to start our presentation. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to try and talk, I'm going to explain the barbering course for you tonight because many people think that hairdressing and barbering are similar careers and in terms of that they both cut hair, they are, but they're also very, very different. So Claire and I will be defining the two courses tonight and hopefully that will give you some more insight into which one will be best suited to you. So I'm going to talk you through the barbering course. So male grooming has become very popular in the last few years making the barbering course one of our favourites. You will notice that there are barber shops opening up in many towns and cities throughout Ireland. This is making it a growth industry with many employment opportunities. We have employment opportunities such as being a self-employed barber, work that's working for yourself or renting a chair in a barber shop. You could also own your own business and that gives you the possibility to hopefully employ other people as well. You could go become a brand ambassador now, a brand ambassador is somebody who works for a company like and this or while and they promote products via live events and social media platforms such as Instagram. And there, there are endless opportunities within the barbering uh, industry. The course at Cavan Institute is a one year course certified in QQI and City and Guilds. You'll gain an international diploma in barbering, allowing you to travel and work abroad in European countries such as Spain and France and even Australia. The course enables you to gain training in all men's cutting skills, modern and traditional cuts. We'll include the fade cut, the mullet cut, and we'll also include hair detailing. We will also furnish you with the hair cutting skills that will enable you to adapt to many new cutting trends as they arise, keeping you at the cutting edge of the industry. Pardon the pun. You will learn skills in male grooming, such as beard shaping, eyebrow shaping, and other more modern hair colouring techniques, such as highlights, spatula and foil techniques. Hair colour is becoming a big, uh, big item in the barbering industry. We'll advise you on the skills for selling hair products, such as hair putty and salt spray. We'll use beard grooming products like beard oils, which are massive in the male grooming area at the moment. These skills will boost your income and make your client's hair and beard always look groomed, in turn then making your barbering skills look even better. You will be taught other important skills, for instance, customer service to help you gain confidence in dealing with customers and promoting yourself. Your practical classes and classes are based in three purpose built salons. And you can see now in the background, I'm in one of the salons. We'll have appointment based barbering sessions where you'll work on men's hair and beards, mimicking the workplace and preparing you for working in a barber shop. You'll complete some on site and online theory learning. Other modules like the science of the hair, safety and health, which are needed if you want to start your own business. You'll attend work experience one day per week throughout your year with us. This will really improve your barbering skills. You will see what the career is really like, and it often leads to Saturday work and full time employment at the end of the course. Within a year, you will be a fully qualified work ready barber. Or should you choose, you can continue directly into year two hairdressing with exemptions. Um, it's important to know what exemptions are. OK, 
Exemptions mean you'll be able to work to use some of the modules that you have completed from the barbering course in year one, and then in year two, you can transfer those to the hairdressing qualification. There's no extra work for you, it's like it's called an RPL. So you'll be able to, to do a hairdressing qualification using your barbering skills as well. It's a great opportunity for both barbering and hairdressing. We also have a great opportunity for barbering hairdressing students, and that's called the Erasmus programme. This is an international exchange programme, and you'll travel in a group to another country to work for two weeks. This is fully funded by the EU and costs you nothing. You'll even be provided with some spending money. I've travelled on several of these trips to places such as Petui in Slovenia, Tartu in Estonia, I've been to Valencia and Seville in Spain, and they've always been very popular placements and left the students with lifelong memories, lifelong friends and invaluable life skills. I hope this gives you a good overview of the barbering course and I'd like to encourage you to apply early as we do have limited places on this popular course. If there are any questions, I can answer those for you after we um, towards the end. OK, I'm going to pass you back to Siobhan. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Katie. That cer sounds certainly a very appealing course for anybody that's interested in that area. Um, I'm going to introduce us now to Harvey Meakin. Harvey completed the barbering course in um, last year. So if Harvey's with me there. OK, perhaps I'll come back to Harvey and um, Claire, I will um, perhaps ask you to give your presentation next about the hairdressing course. So over to you, Claire. Thanks, Siobhan. The hairdressing course is a two year course certified by QQI, City and Gills and the Department of Education. Students will gain and develop skills in cutting, colouring, styling, upstyling, wigs and a variety of extensions. We cover current trends like curtain fringes, root melt colours, balayage, as well as blow dry skills, use of straighteners to create curls, bonded and weft extensions. Our students also do a City and Gills unit called Create an Image where they create a look for a photo shoot, which is brilliant for your CV. For example, it could help if you're interested in working in the theatre or media. All our modules that are completed are science and theory, which gives a fundamental understanding of the hair, what it is, how it works, and lots of other information. We cover retail and safety and health, to name a few subjects. During practical classes, you will work on models and training heads, practicing the skills that you have been learning. Theory lessons will be a mix of on-site in the college and online using Microsoft Teams. Work experience is completed by all students, which gives them a great opportunity to gain employment. The real life experience of a working salon helps our students' confidence in their practical skills, which is perfect for completing their assessments and exams. Assessments are continuous throughout the academic year. These will be a mix of practicals, skills demonstrations, assignments and online exams, depending on the subject area. For some of the modules, an end of year exam will be completed. Opportunities to progress to the bar course is what some of our hairdressing students have done, gaining another qualification, making them more employable. And as Katie said, in doing this, our hairdressing students can gain recognition of prior learning, transferring their completed units or modules to the barbering qualification. Some past students have opened their own salons, some are teaching, and some students have travelled the world. The opportunities really are endless. Every year we have a representative from Steiner Cruise Liners that comes and speaks to our second year hairdressing students about the possibilities of joining their team. The students can apply and if successful, they go to London to train 
with the Steiner team before joining the crew on one of the ships. Several of our students have gained employment and one of our past hairdressing students has managed the spa area of the six star liner and has traveled the world extensively. The map shown her travels is actually my background. She completed this world tour from October 2019 to March 2020, visiting countries such as Spain, Singapore, Australia and the Maldives. Another student who has worked on the cruise liners is presently living in Dubai and working in a hairdressing salon there. If you're interested, this is a fantastic way to travel the world while working as a hairdresser. I really hope that this gives you a good overview of what we offer. The hairdressing and barbering courses are great, giving you, our students, valued qualifications that will enable you to start your career in a variety of exciting ways. If you have any other questions, please feel free to contact the college via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or on the website at calvininstitute.ie. I really encourage you all to apply to hairdressing or barbering courses at Calvin Institute. I really look forward to seeing you all in September and I will now hand you back to Siobhan. Thank you very, very much for listening. Thank you very much indeed for that, Claire. Um, Edel, I believe, is unable to join us due to technical issues. And um, if Harvey is available, perhaps I will be um, able to have a chat with Harvey. If I could just confirm that Harvey's with me. Yeah, here. Oh, OK, Harvey, Harvey, you're very Sorry welcome. About that. I didn't know what happened there. I oh, know that's all right, uh, Harvey. We're doing this as a live event, so lots of things happen on the night. Lots of things <laughs> happen that we just have to work with. Um, so you're very welcome, Harvey, and thanks very much indeed for joining us. We really appreciate it to get a student's perspective on this. No, so Harvey, fine. you that's completed fine. the barbering course last year, 2019 to 2020. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. And Harvey, would you would you just to give us a little bit of um feedback on your experience doing that course? Oh yeah, no, definitely. Um, I loved it. Like there's tons of different things that go on. Like I've been cutting hair since I was about 15 or 16 and I thought I knew everything. But then I went <laughs> to college then to get me papers and then, um, yeah, I didn't know everything. Um, <laughs> Definitely not. Like, there's lots of stuff I learned, especially on um, about colouring hair. There's definitely a lot to it. Like, there's a lot of things you need to do before you can even touch someone's head with colour. And then um, definitely helped me in the way of, um, how would you put it, the men's cuts and the skin fades. Definitely, there's definitely a lot of practice you get with them. And then uh, beards, especially. Beards I wouldn't have known how to do unless I had gone to college. So definitely, yeah, it was a great benefit. Well, that's good to hear, um, Harvey, that uh, Cavan Institute actually was able to teach you something. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> you didn't know everything. Yeah. No, yeah. I definitely didn't. <laughs> yeah, good, good. And Harvey, um, what are you doing now, Harvey? Uh, well, I opened my own uh, barber shop in Ballyconnell last August, but obviously due to COVID, I didn't get much in it. Like, but I'm back now and it's been very, been very busy since I got back, so I can't complain. Yeah, I love it. OK, and is that as a direct result of doing the course in, in the Institute, Harvey? Um, yeah, definitely. They definitely helped me a lot. Like, um, yeah, so it's a good benefit. And now um, I even take on the students from Cavan. I have a lad who's with me every Saturday, so it's great as well that they can provide me with help. Oh, so you actually are taking on a st uh, someone that's doing the course in the college at the moment? Yeah, I have, uh, but he's, he's just after qualifying, but he's uh, definitely uh, happy to recommend him. They must have taught him very well. <laughs> he is, he's good. Um, he comes down to me every Saturday and spends the day with me, and he's he loves the experience as well. And if it wasn't for me doing the course, I don't think he would have been having an experience yet. So it was good that they also recommended me to him. 
Yeah, well that it works both ways, of course. Like, you know, yeah. we are very appreciative of employers taking students on work placement. And in turn, uh, we find that employers are very happy that they can take the students and it's a benefit to them as well. So Harvey, yeah. that's absolutely yeah. great because um, like it's great to get a perspective, especially of a young man, you know, doing a course in the college and how it has benefited them and you're able to you were able to start your own business. Harvey, we wish you, we might come back to you now towards the questions and answers. So don't go anywhere because yeah, there could no be, could be questions directed to you. But thanks very much indeed. Really appreciate um, you um, coming on, you know, even though it was a bit up and down getting you in. We still <laughs> we really appreciate you getting getting on board with us and getting on live with us this this evening. Yeah. Um, so don't go anywhere, Harvey. Just sit I'll right go, there. Yeah. I'll sit tight. Yes, yeah, <laughs> don't do anything. Um, Idel, I'm not sure if Idel is here now. Um, I believe she is. Perhaps I will um, uh, bring Aoife back in again. And as I introduced, Aoife is our um, career guidance counsellor here in, well, one of the career guidance uh, counsellors here in the Institute. And perhaps Aoife, you might give us some information maybe about fees or supports for the students within um, the Institute. Yes, no problem, Siobhan. Thank you. Um, so like Siobhan said, my name is Aoife Ward. I'm one of the guidance counsellors um, and I just love hearing from the, the hairdressing tutors and of course Harvey. That was fantastic, Harvey and Siobhan. Um, so our hairdressing uh, courses, they've been uh, running for a long, long time, over 25 years. You know, we have seen a lot of students come through uh, the college and gain fantastic qualifications. So the dual qualified after the hairdressing um, in City and Gills and in junior and senior trades. So a lot of qualifications um, are achieved in, in, in the one year barber and the two year to your hairdressing. So I will just give you um, a quick um, overview of, um, I suppose it's outside of the department, what you would really start to um, need to start looking at and preparing for if you're going to come and do um, the course with us in September. It's really important that you um, start to look at the fees and preparing yourself um, uh, for coming in September so you can hit the ground running, that you're um, able to uh, get off to a really good start and um, that uh, you know you can set yourself up for success during the year. As you can see, our tutors are uh, amazing they will do absolutely everything to support you through this journey and you know it's also up to you to come and meet them halfway and part of that would be being prepared and uh, taking the steps to make sure that when you come in September you know you're organized so one of those areas that um, I'll talk to you briefly about is um, fees so um, there are some um, there are some course fees um, involved with hairdressing because of the the kit and the equipment the uniforms all of that information, uh, the fee information is broken down on our website. So it would be really important that you can, uh, that you go to the website, look at the um, hairdressing and the barbering course, uh, read it in detail, drill down into the modules that you will be studying and also look at the fee information. But as an overview, um, the registration fee that you pay at Cavan Institute is 250 euro. 50 euro of that is a booking fee that you, it is non-refundable and you will pay the booking fee to secure your place. So when you apply, um, the admissions team will get back to you. You'll get a letter, an offer of the place on the course and um, you pay your 50 euro booking fee and that's you secured on the play, on the course. Then in August, you can um, uh, pay the rest of the fees, which are 200 more for the registration fee. There's 200 for a government um, PLC levy and you've got some exam fees, so 50 euro for QQI and other exam fees. Then the, the course fees are also broken down on the website. So start to look at them, start to prepare, um, plan from a financial point of view. There are some um, options for funding, so you can look at SUSE if you want to apply for a grant, so that's SUSE.ie. And that app, that um, grant system is open at present and is open until the 8th of July. So you have a few weeks now to uh, make that application for SUSE grant if you feel that you would be um, eligible for that. Um, if you're in receipt of a social welfare payment, um, you can apply for back to education allowance. Um, and again, 
go to your local social welfare office to talk to them about that to make sure that you are eligible and that that can be a transfer from the payment that you're on onto back to education allowance. And then the third funding option is VTOS. So we, we run the VTOS scheme in Cavan. And again, the information is on our website. You make an application um, for the VTOS scheme to Adrienne in our um, admissions department. And again, the, the deadline for that is the 8th of um, August, I think. So again, for VTOS, you need to be over 21 years of age um, in receipt of a social welfare payment and um, also registered on a full time um, course in Cavan Institute. So I hope that gives you a general kind of overview on the, the fees and the funding opportunities. And again, I would encourage you to start looking at getting organized for that now. If you have any questions on any of that, or you need any help um, with um, working out the funding options or the, the fees that you have to pay, please let us know, get back, get in touch with us um, at the college. So admin at cabininstitute.ie or you can you can call call the college. Um, so then the other um, the other area that I'll just talk to you about is just life at the Institute. Like Harvey talked about it there, you know, we do pride ourselves on being very student centred um, at Cavan Institute. We work really hard to make sure that students have a good experience um, and, you know, the, the continuous assessment, if you have found school difficult in the past or if you you um, are returning to education you're feeling a little bit nervous or a little bit worried we would um, encourage you to you know uh, kind of come and work with us we are here to help you we're ready to support you our students have worked with with um, mature students and school leavers and early school leavers and um, everyone over the years and we are aware of the challenges and and the the you know overwhelm or the nervousness that you might feel about coming back to college so please um do start to prepare start to look at our website the information and do contact us um if we can help in any way um so i hope that's okay i'll pass you back on to siobhan and um, if there are any other questions siobhan you can let me know Thank, thanks very much indeed for Aoife. That's that's really a lot of information and I'm sure uh, applicants will really appreciate getting that information. Uh, I believe we've Adele with us at the moment again. As I said, this, these are the problems we encounter during a live event. So um, Claire and Adele are going to have a chat. So I'll pass you over to Claire and Adele. Hi Adele, how are you? I'm here just about. <laughs> <laughs> it's never easy. Um, Adele, I would just I'd love if you could give us um, a little insight about your experience in the college when you were with us, if you don't mind, please. Um, so I went to Cabin Institute um, to study hairdressing and I did year one and two with, um, with Cabin Institute and I got a job um, when I qualified that year and and then I went on and did my uh, third and fourth year by Claire and Jason egged me on to do it. I think I was the only one that, or there was two of us out of our year. So without them two years, I don't think I would have you know, opened my own business or became probably more confident in myself. And when I was working in the hair salon, then the next two years gave me and um, more time to want to flow on. I was only a junior stylist in year one and two, and then with three and four, I actually got on the floor and then I gave my experience and opened my own salon. Um, Adele, you said there, you know, that you worked after or during college and you also worked after college, and I noticed your beautiful sign behind you saying Lux. Um, would you like to tell everybody about how you achieved um, your own salon. It's a big undertaking and you've been doing it now for a wee while. So I'd love to hear your um, how you got to that point, um, if you don't mind, please. Um, I suppose uh, I would be more hands-on kind of person and I wouldn't be great at the food side of things so I didn't get through it. But um, I worked just so hard in the salon that I worked in and I was working long hours and you know, as a junior stylist, your pay isn't great. And I started to find it very hard to get motivation to stay in the hairdressing industry. I thought, like, if this is going to be forever, I, I don't want this. And then uh, myself and Natasha, and Murray, she's the makeup side of things. Um, I, do, I was doing her hair for the last couple of years before I opened here. 
and we decided to we'd give it a go to be the only makeup and hair um, all under one roof in Cavan. So we were the first ones to present that to Cavan. So it was probably more that I just wanted my own freedom and work hard for myself. That's really why I don't. Andy Dale, you're doing brilliantly, I know that. Um, and you actually take some of our students as well from the college for work experience. And so it's brilliant that you're giving back yeah. to Cavan. You know, um, you're in Cavan town, yeah, aren't well, you? I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a main street in town myself. I suppose I take people in from Cavan Institute. Um, I, I took in an international student um, in France as well. Uh, through Cavan Institute, and I suppose I only really I only took them on. I had a, I had a girl working here with me, and she was like, "Oh, do you take on work experience?" But I was in her position before, and I found it very difficult for people to take you on. But I I take on anyone who comes in, and myself and Natasha has took on, and um, probably up to six or eight uh, makeup students as well here. And I pick up the hair and um, students from all the Cavan Institute. So I'm just give them back to what I what I got. That's that's brilliant, Adele. I mean, you really are an asset to Cavan Town and our area, and you're really an asset. Um, I am a past student that we're very proud of. And thanks very much for taking the time this evening and um, for joining us, Adele. Yeah, thanks for having me and thanks for helping me get this far. Uh, thank, thanks very much, uh, Claire and Edel. We're fast running out of time, but I'm just going to squeeze in perhaps um, one question. Um, I'll, I'll direct this towards Katie. Katie, there's a lot of questions coming in about products. What products do students use and do they need to bring their own products? to do the course. Just Sorry, Katie. Mic there for me, Katie. There we go. We can hear you now. OK, sorry about that. Technology. <laughs> we use uh, great products actually in the salon. No, you don't provide any products yourself. They're included in your course fees. Well, when I say included, that, that you pay a very minimal amount compared to the products that you will actually use. So we use mainly Weller hair colour, which is one of the best on the market. Uh, I think, folks, there is a bit of a problem there with Katie. So perhaps um, she just mentioned, just uh, I suppose in summary, no, you don't have to bring your own products and um, all of that information will be given to you on commencement of the course. I really have to wrap up. I would love to continue a little bit longer, but um, a very huge thank you to Katie and Claire and Aoife and in particular to our guests, Edel and Harvey, thank you so much for giving your insights into the course. It really helps um, applicants. Um, we hope that you've taken away some useful information. And again, if there are any questions that you need answered or any clarifications, contact us and um, email us. Check out our website, lots of information. Follow us on our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, etc. I would also encourage you to look at our uh, YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel has lots of testimonials from students in the hairdressing and barbering courses also, and it gives you a very good feel for what life is like at Cavan Institute. So I'll now close the hairdressing and barbering event and thank you again for joining us. And our next event, Science, will be starting practically immediately. And um, thank you all very, very much.